uh, uh, go ahead and get into a new segment called the speed round. Speed round. <laughs> that one was a lot of fun to make. Um, which, uh, okay, so we're going to go through three different questions real quick. And basically, you guys are going to just come up with whatever answers just off the top of the head. So let's start with the first one. Jesse, I'll start with you. Which brand new coach will fare the best, Billy Napier or Brian Kelly? In an accent competition, Brian Kelly. Um, <laughs> overall, I'm going to say Billy Napier because to me, that culture fits more with him. And I just don't, I, I agree with what Grant said. I, I don't know the culture fit for Brian Kelly. Okay. Grant? Um, Billy Napier yes, or Brian uh, Kelly? Okay, so I think uh, short-term, year one, I think Brian Kelly. Uh, I think long-term, Billy Napier. Um, culture fit with Brian Kelly. I don't think it's going to work. Napier is going to do well over time. Um, but so year one, kind of, I think both teams are looking at six and six, thereabout. But I think the uh, October 15th game of LSU and Florida is actually going to determine which one's going to get ball eligibility. And that'll kind of answer that question. Yeah, it's really, really difficult to say. I, if I had to just off the top, I'd probably say Billy Napier, but there's just, there's so many unknowns with him. I feel like Brian Kelly is more of a tried and true, but still, you don't know how that, like you said, that culture fit's going to work out. So um, uh, Matt uh, did put his thoughts on here. He said that he thinks it's going to be Brian Kelly. Uh, he has the pedigree with big programs such as Notre Dame. He thinks Napier is uh, Butch Jones version 2.0. Uh, mm -hmm. So he thinks he's going to struggle. So, um, all right. So question number two, Grant, let's start with you this time. Uh, which transfer portal player will have the biggest impact for their team? Oh, uh, I'm going to say Jermaine Burton. Um, reason being is because with the addition of Jameer Gibbs, we talked about it earlier, Alabama's backfield is going to be really good. Um, but Burton kind of fills some shoes that James Williams, Mechie, you know, we saw not having those in the national championship, how that hurt. And so uh, bringing in Burton's uh, good experience target that can create separation alongside, like I said, Kobe Prentice and uh, Trey Sean Holden. Um, I think that's going to be big for Alabama to kind of spread the options open for um, uh, Bryce Young. And so, uh, and Saban's repeatedly said that Jermaine Burton's got the best hands on the team. So that's my Okay. Answer. Jesse, transfer portal player, which one's going to have the biggest impact? Well, I like Grant's answer a lot, but I'm going to go with Spencer Rattler. Um, okay. I think that he was a big name for South Carolina to get at that time and really shows their progress as a program. And they were hurting in the quarterback position. I think it's a mutually beneficial um, agreement, you know, him coming from a place that Seems like they hated him at the end um, to a place that is willing and, and ready to welcome a quarterback that they can rally around. I think that's going to be a good situation there. And like we mentioned earlier, he's he's had some time to grow up. I think that um, Beamer's the, the coach there that can really help mold him and mentor him. So if he can do that, I think he's, he's going to be a big player there. Uh, Matt agrees. He thinks Spencer Rattler is going to make some noise down in Columbia. Might be the piece that was missing to get SC over the top. Um, I'm going to go a little bit different route, and I'm going to go with uh, Jackson Dart. Um, so, you know, Kiffin is a big quarterback guy, um, and I, I just I see that going well. I, I don't know. For whatever reason, I just have a feeling that that's going to work out well um, and that he'll, he'll impact uh, Ole Miss down there. Um, all right, so our final question, um, Jesse, let's start with you this time. Which team do you think is a dark horse in the SEC? Oh, gosh. Um, okay, word bomb it. It's just, it's just, it's coming out. It's the first team that came to my mind. So, this is a speed round. I'm just gonna say it. I think it's Kentucky. Okay, I think, I think 10 games last season's a big deal for them, and I think it's something they're only going to build on. Will Levis has had a chance to get in the groove and start to settle in there. He's found his home there. And I think that they may be a real contender in the East. Okay. Grant. Um, I'm going to go with Arkansas here. I think, uh, like I said, KJ Jefferson's one of the best quarterbacks in the conference. Um, even though they lost Traylon Burks, um, you know, Pittman's already said that they've got the depth of wide receiver, unlike they've had before. Defense should be better. Um, uh, let's see, they're two running backs, Sanders and Johnson. They're both 500-yard uh, rushers from last season on top of K.J. Jefferson. Um, so they're back. So 
Uh, yeah, I'm going to say Dark Horse is Arkansas. Okay. Uh, Matt says he doesn't want to sound like a homer, but I legit think Tennessee is going to be uh, is going to surprise some folks. Uh, Hooker's made some progress, according to the rumor mill. Defense has gotten some reinforcement. I fully believe UT could sneak up on somebody. So that's what he has to say. Um, I don't, gosh, I don't know. If I just had to just grab a team out of the sky, I, I probably would go with Arkansas too, just because I think that, I don't know, I think they got a good thing going over there. Um, we, we've seen, like we've talked about, KJ Jefferson has just continued to, to develop. He has grit, as you said, Jesse, and it's true. He really does. Um, and uh, as a good leader on that team. So I would, uh, granted, they're in a tough division, and that's the problem um, yeah. is being in the West. But um, but I could see them uh, upsetting some people. Maybe not Bama, but some some people. Um, all right. Um, da, da, da. Yeah, so that's all we got for that one. Let's, uh, let's talk about a couple of the uh, listener feedback uh, comments. 